What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the HGLRC's XJB145. It is the 145 millimeter micro FPV racer. This only comes in the plug and play version. However, it comes in this nice purple color as well as a nice blue color as well. Let me tell you, first of all, this is a rocket and this is a performer as well. Let me tell you about some of these main components here. It has the 600 TV line CCD camera. It's got a 5.8 gigahertz 72 channel VTX, and it also has the F4 flight controller with built-in OSD, and the frame is a stretched out X frame, carbon fiber frame, of course, and the bottom plate measures in at three millimeters the top plate and the two side plates measures in at one and a half millimeters there's also a protrusion right on the front of the nose uh, to help protect the camera in case of a crash now there's a little mount on the top as well for like a mobius mini action camera as well and there's four standoffs holding the top plate to the bottom plate and there's a couple of standoffs going sideways on the top. The motors are the HGL Tex Flame motors and they are the 1407 3600 kV motors and they have this purple theme going on as well and we are given 3045 tri-bladed props but the only thing is they only give you one set of these props uh, that is too bad because these are some very, very nice props. And the motor wires running to the ESCs are zip tied as well. The ESCs are the BL Heli S 28M ESCs with 35 amp bursts and it supports 2S to 4S batteries. And the firmware is the BL Heli S 16.5 firmware and there is, however, the power cable coming off of the side of the ESCs, and they kind of get in the way of you holding the quadcopter if you hold the quadcopter right here, which I like to do. So that kind of gets in the way a little bit. But I did uh, zip tie the power cable to the hind leg, and the power cable is an XT30 power cable. The flight controller is the Micro F4 flight controller and it is pre-flashed with Omnibus F4 3.1.5 firmware and it is also pre-loaded with Betaflight OSD as well and it is pre-configured with D-Shot 600 right out of the box. So here is the camera and they are calling this camera the XJB Elf camera. It is a one third inch Super Had 2 CCD camera with 600 TV line and 120 degree field of view. And it is hooked up to the VTX, which is a 5.8 gigahertz 72 channel. And it is switchable from 0 to 25 to 100 to 250 milliwatt output power. And there is a push button right here to change the channels the frequency and the power output there is an led display however but you are not able to see it from the top so that is one thing bad you will have to remove the top plate in order to adjust the vtx channels and the power and the frequency and the antenna that we are given is the 3 dbi dipole whip antenna and it is connected to the VTX via a IPEX antenna connector. And it also comes with a buzzer and couple of LED lights in the back. They are attached to the side plates in the back via a couple of rubber bands wrapped around the buzzer. And you will have to keep an eye on it just in case it starts to get old. The rubber band that is and it starts to fray and it might untangle itself just from use and abuse so keep an eye on that so you don't have a fly away buzzer and led light and it might hit the props while you are flying so keep an eye on that uh, we are also given this red heavy duty velcro strap 
which is really, really nice. I just put a little black additional Velcro strap to hold down the balance cord on the battery. And we are also given this nice rubber or some kind of a silicon pad that was already stuck on here. And the battery, when you place the battery on one of these guys, the battery sticks to it somewhat and it does not slide. So that is really, really nice. And the quad cutter by itself without the battery comes in at 130 grams. Okay, so when you first receive the quad cutter, uh, there's not gonna be the props already installed. So you're gonna have to install the props yourself as well as the receiver. It is a plug and play version. So you will have to provide your own receiver. Uh, but the good news is that you see those three wires, uh, a black wire, a red wire, and a signal wire. Um, coming out of the top plate there. Well, there's three wires right now, but it came with five wires. So there was three white wires coming out and each of them had a little tape marking them. One of them was the S bus, one of them was the PPM, and one of them was the DSM2, DSMX. So you are able to choose whichever receiver that you want with this quadcopter and it was already soldered onto the flight controller. So you choose the wire that you want. In my case, I chose the S bus because I'm using a FR Sky receiver and I rolled up the other two and tucked it underneath. You can't see it, but it is underneath there. So you don't have to snip it off. You could snip it off if you want. So that is one of the best things about this quadcopter. It was just so easy to add your own receiver. And I do have the D8 receiver, which kind of gave me disconnect problems. But looking on the bottom here, the motors, uh, the motors only had two motor screws on. As you can see, they're two different colors. Well, these two came with the quadcopter and these two, I got it out of the bag where the uh, the nuts and the prop were. So they give you a bag of extra screws for the motors. A couple of them are uh, very long, well some of them very long, some of them kind of short and I chose the short ones, they fit on here perfectly. You can leave just two or do like what I did and put two more for security purposes. Now it also comes with this nice little instruction manual as well. It is the HGLRC's uh, drone manual, and it is a very simple piece of paper, but it is very helpful. It tells you uh, what you are to choose and to calibrate the accelerometer, the D-Shot 600 ESC protocol, and then uh, LED strip function and blah blah and whatnot and they also show you how to go about changing the power of the VTX and they show you all of the uh, available channels and the frequency so as you can see there's 72 channels and they also give you a diagram of the flight controller and the ESC is underneath so they give you all of the diagram and what you need to know as well as the VTX diagram too so very very informative little piece of paper and is very much appreciated it is better than not coming with anything and also the fact that it came with all of those wires for the signal already pre-marked and soldered onto the flight controller it was a breeze to connect whatever the receiver that you are going to use so uh I took it on for a flight this morning and test it out already. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of that footage. All right, we got the XJB145 by HGL. I'm gonna do a little hover test for now. I got a 700 milliamp three cell battery on here. So let's check this baby out. Just gonna do a basic hover test to make sure everything is working. Right out of the box, PIDs and everything is just right out of the box nothing has been tweaked it looks to be very very nice very very nice very very nice very smooth and very quiet
Oh yeah. I'm already liking it. Now this battery may be kind of weak. It is an old battery that I just use for binding and stuff like that because I've done overused it so it doesn't have the same amount of flight time and all that. It's kind of an old battery so I'm not going to punch it out or anything like that. I'm just seeing whether or not it is hovering good and whether or not it is responding good. But it does have a little bit of oomph still left in the battery here. Yep. Okay. I can hear the props a little bit on the way down. But not bad. One, oh, that's a big bird right there. Okay. I think that's pretty good for just hovering test. Seems to be promising here. I'm going to stick on a newer battery. Another 3S. 850 milliamps this time. And we'll do a little line of sight test with that one. Okay, let's bring this baby down. So everything is working. Fantastic. Nice. Good. Okay, well let's do another uh, line of sight test. This time I got an Infinity 850 milliamp size battery and I just love that battery pad that it comes with, that rubberized battery pad. It just sticks on there and does not move. So just fantastic. Let's go for that second line of sight test. And now that we know it has very good controls, let's go and take off. Yeah, I think this battery has a lot more oomph to it as well. So let's go and check this baby out. Oh yeah, this thing just climbs. Oh wow. Oh yeah, this thing is nice. It's fast. It's got a lot of power. Oh yeah, this thing is a rocket. Hope I don't lose it. Hoo -hoo. This thing is a rocket. Oh, it just did some kind of a maneuver. I have a feeling that my receiver is not up to par. Yeah. Yeah, so I can't go too far with this one because I have that D8 receiver on it. So I gotta be careful with the distance. What I need to do is at least get a XM receiver, XM Plus. The XSR receiver was a little bit too big to place on this baby here. So yeah, it's got the it's got the agility, it's got the power. Let's do a little punch out. Oh man. This thing is nice. Tons of power. Tons of power, tons of power. Let's do a punch out again. Oh yeah. Very, very nice. All right, we're coming down to the three minute warning. I'm gonna go ahead and flick it over to Acro just to see how it behaves. Line of sight Acro, and it is very stable too. Yep, check that out. I'm just hovering in one spot. Very, very nice. Let's see. Okay, did a little flip there, so very easy to control this one. Yeah. Very nice.
Nice. Very, very nice. Very smooth. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this baby in and check out the FPV. Yeah. Nice. Oh, all right. We are just about ready to go with the HGL XJB 145. Oh my God, and the letters are very big on the OSD. Awesome. Okay, let's see. We are armed and ready to go. Yeah, these letters are humongous. Awesome. <laughs> all right, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this thing is nice. Woohoo! I don't have much distance. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I guess this receiver has to go. So let's not go too far. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very bad receiver I'm thinking yeah I'm gonna have to change out my receiver so I'm gonna keep it close for the test oh my god I almost crashed over there so a brand new quad you don't want to crash yeah yeah I gotta invest in some XM receivers or XM plus receivers and it's doing very well very good I don't see any prop wash at all maybe just right there just a little bit Wow, this thing is just awesome. Okay, there's a flip and it is really nice. Really nice, really, really nice. Very fast, very quick. Got enough power. One. It is fun. Wow, this is a nice, nice racer. Awesome. I just got to change out the uh, receiver and I'll have myself a very nice. Oh, wow. Three inch racer, lots of power, lots of hang time. And this one is a smooth flyer. Woo -hoo. Nice. Twenty seconds. Awesome, awesome. Oh yeah, Six, Woo -hoo -hoo. Four, we got ourselves three, a winner guys, two, one, HGL XJB I think we got ourselves a winner here. Yep. This is a awesome quad. And it is a rocket as well as we have seen in the line of sight test. Woohoo. Nice. Really really nice. And we are at 3 minutes and 50. Oh my god, 4 minutes. And we are still good to go awesome awesome but I'll bring it in 
and call it a day. This thing is awesome, awesome. I can't wait until I fly it uh, proximity amongst the trees and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I do not have any more batteries uh, to test this baby out. So I have to recharge the two batteries, the good batteries that I got. And I'm gonna change out the uh, receiver as well. This one is uh, kind of giving me range issues. So let's go ahead and land this baby here. Very, uh, very nice. The HGL XJB 145. It is a rocket and it is a performer. Nice. So those were the test flights I performed this morning. Uh, a couple of them line of sight and one of them uh, FPV. And as you guys saw, this thing is just awesome. It is so smooth. It doesn't have any oscillations out of the box. And I'm running Betaflight stock PIDs. I did not touch them. Uh, it is so smooth out of the box. And I'm pretty sure if you tweak it even more, it will run even more. So I'm going to go ahead and take out that D8 receiver because it's giving me some disconnect problems. And I do have an XSR receiver on hand and it does kind of fit right on top of that top plate, that recessed area. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and change that receiver out and put this one in its place. I have some XM receivers on its way. Until then, I think this is kind of an overkill for this quadcopter being so big. This is more like for a five incher that I've been saving, but I'm going to go ahead and place this baby on there and test it out. So there you have it, guys. What do you think? It is a keeper. Oh yeah, I believe so. And this thing is so fast and it is so agile and it performs so well. It has no oscillations right out of the box. Uh, I highly recommend you get one of these guys. I mean, uh, this is the first one that I've gotten that is this size, kind of 145 millimeters. And it's got the nice three inch blades. So it is faster, uh, more speed, more power than those two inches that were uh, stretched out with three inch blades. I mean, this thing's got a lot bigger motors, a lot more power and utilizing these three inch blades, it just performs excellent. So there you have it, guys. That is my initial review and flight test. More to come, I'm sure, because I'm going to uh, order some more batteries and I'm going to change out the receiver on this baby so I can go the distance and fly it some more. So that is my initial review of the HGLRC's XJB 145. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.